Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I am going to showcase you an OSINT tool which is named as MetaGoFill. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below and if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, if you had followed my uh, channel, you had, uh, you might know that I had covered a few or like more videos regarding OSINT and which I had showcased you some popular tools like profiler or uh, OSINT related tools and stuff. So in this video, this video is uh, also going to be in that particular list where I'm going to showcase you an interesting tool. So this tool is named as MetaGoofil. So this is a quite popular tool and like if you can see the commits are like uh, the commit uh, for this git uh, repo is like around 11 to 9 years ago. So this is a quite popular and an old tool as well. So uh, I'll provide you the link for this in the description below. You can do check them out. So if you can see this tool uh, is used in order to extract the documents of a domain. So let us assume that you are trying to hunt on an on a web application like google.com or microsoft.com or any other domain like that. So like if you can uh, look properly, you can find out some few files. Okay, which can be a PDF, which can be a document, which can be a text file, which is hosted on the internet. So this particular tool helps you, uh, helps you in finding out all those files. And yes, you might be, if you are familiar with this particular uh, Google docking, you might find it like, man, this is already covered. But this tool helps you in automating all this stuff. Like you can extract all these files at a time uh, solemnly. So that is it for now and we'll dive into the uh, demo part. Okay, so I'll provide you the link for this in the description below. You can simply clone this thing or you can do a apt install or you can install it through the help of packet manager. And guys, I am showcasing this thing on my uh, Kali Linux, uh, which I'm root user. But if you are uh, trying to do this on any other Linux distributions, it is absolutely fine. But if you are not a root user by default, make sure you add a sudo command. Okay, so the first and the important thing in order to install this is like you can do a clone. Okay, clone is also a similar thing. So let me uh, give you a quick. So once you clone this, like uh, copy this particular link and git clone and you'll find this particular meta goofield.py. So this is a Python related stuff. And uh, what you can do is you can simply run this Python script and you are good to go. But if you want to have something like command line uh, like me, so you can simply do a sudo or uh, apt install okay meta goofil and you are good to go okay so i had already done this process and it doesn't take a lot of time it's an easy one so now you can simply access this particular tool uh through a simple tab itself and i'll try to show you the few options uh, this tool supports and you can see this is a quite and straightforward tool as well and also guys i'll show you the manual way at the uh, at the end of this video so no need to worry so you can see it helps you in searching and downloading the specific file types so like you can specify whether it can be a document docs html uh, pdf or anything anything of your choice okay so domain you can choose any domain of your choice and delay so like uh, like you, you, we all know that Google has some kind of bot detection stuff, right? So you can add some delay between the searches. So it helps in bypassing those stuff. Okay. And uh, you can also save the stuff. Okay. If you want to, like you'll get all the links. Okay. And uh, you can see the download limit as well. Like let us assume that you are trying to find out on a big website like Google or Microsoft, you will find some thousands of files. So if you quickly do that, what uh, if you do that, what would probably happen is like you will uh, uh, fill up all your memory in your device. So you can add a quick uh, limit as well. That's fine. You can save them to any directory if you want to. So number of threads, it's fine. So like if you want to uh, increase the speed or the speed of this particular tool, you can simply try to increase the number of threads. 
so number of threads is directly proportional to the number uh, the faster rate of this tool okay and the file type this is the important thing so as of now this file type and this domain are absolutely or most important options that we will be looking for like file types you can use a pdf doc excel or most of the popular stuff okay and you can specify like you can even search for two or more file types uh, separating by a comma okay and you can specify the user agent okay if you want to like if you want to change the user agent and download the files uh, instead of using the results if you want to so now what we'll try to do is meta google and i'm going to show this on google.com okay so that is a pro, uh, good website to uh, look for and the file type so it is t right yes it is t so file type i look for pdf and txt and i'll be looking for limit of like around 10 okay i don't want to waste the time like number if you try to increase the number of limit like it takes a lot of time let me hit enter so you can see the downloaded files will be uh, defaultly saved to the root or the for, uh, directory that you are in so it takes a bit of time okay no need to worry or if you want to add any output directory so you can add an hyphen o and stuff you can do that not an issue at all uh, and guys there is a small problem here so the n doesn't mean the limit so it is like for how to how many files if you want to download okay so i'm wrong there so what happened for me here is the issue happened here for me is like you can see the google is blocking the requests so that is because since i haven't mentioned any limit here limit for the searches it is going for by default 100 searches so it blocked it so what you can do here is you can have a proxy like if you if you face this similar issue so you can have a proxy set it up or you can use any free vpn whether it can be an on surf or anything else if you want to know how to install the vpn on your target on your uh, uh, attacker machine so i leave the video for that in the description below you can do check them out okay so then what happened is like i try to again try to do a limit of 10 searches so i modified uh, n to l here so again it had shown me that uh, it is blocking requests for me here so what i did is like uh, i uh, started my vpn which is anon surf here okay i started my anon surf so if you don't know anon surf is a free and an open source vpn which is based on tor network I'll do leave the video for, uh, for that in the description below. You can do check out from there. So once I started that and you can see this particular uh, command ran successfully for me and you can see it downloaded all the files to the root uh, root folder. So you can see. Uh, so I think there are uh, like you can see there are no files available here so that's the reason you can you can't see any files here in the root or any other folder so like let us assume that you if you find a file there uh, like if you find any files which are related to pdf or text then it will be definitely available here so that is it guys uh, for uh, this tool so as i told you this tool helps you in automating the stuff but now let us see how this tool actually works in the real life like what is the uh, theory behind this particular tool okay so for that we need to use google okay so google is the thing that we are going to use let me go for google.com sorry i should turn off my burp sorry let me do a try again once again yep i got my google here so the the thing that i'm going to do is cite google.com okay and uh, file type so this is a simple uh, uh, recon stuff okay so we'll go for xls okay so what i did here is like these are called as docs so i had already made a video on google docs so i'll leave that in the description below as well you can do check out there so i'm looking for site google.com like i'm looking for the domain google.com and i'm looking for file type xls so excel sheet so this is how this particular tool actually works and what happens like if you send this request many times then this google stop blocks the requests like it throws a captcha page and that is what going to happen so that is it guys for this video like there are few other options as well okay uh, which are related to output you can uh, check for you can uh, increase the number of threads or anything like that okay so make sure you try those stuff 
and also uh, don't forget how this tool actually works as well so that is it guys for today's video i hope you really find this video helpful if you find this video helpful make sure you like it and do share with the friends who are really interested in this stuff this is sattvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you